Air guns, can you use them for home defense? And if so, what's better? Welcome back to the channel. So, in case you didn't catch it from the intro, we're talking about lever guns today. Now I know there's, there's some of you out there might be thinking, what in the world are you doing? Why are you talking about lever guns, cowboy guns, for home defense? You should be talking about AR-15s and AK-47s and that sort of thing. Well, the reason why we're talking about lever guns is, you know, unless you lived under a rock in the last year, you know there are more new gun owners out there than at any time in history right now. Due to that, those AR-15s and AK-47s are either sold out in most places or the prices have gone up so high that they're not feasible for a lot of people's budgets anymore. But people are still looking for options to protect themselves with. And if you, if you can find them, the ammunition that goes in a lot of those has again gone up so high that people can't afford it or just can't find it in general. So something people have been looking to lately that I've noticed are the lever guns because you can still find them. I mean, they're, they're on the gun store shelves in a lot of places. They are available in multiple calibers that are very capable for both hunting and self-defense, anywhere from handgun calibers to rifle calibers. Uh, so availability is one and ease of use too. Like an AR-15 for some people can be a little bit intimidating, whereas this is easy to operate it's a simple mechanism. They're silky smooth. These have been trusted for, you know, from the days of the Wild West. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people over the years have protected their homes and families with these guns. So why not look at it as an alternative? So what we're going to do is we're going to take these out to the range today. And with the same shooter, we're going to see if... So this is a Henry, for example, if you're not too familiar. Henry tends to be towards the considered the Cadillac um, of lever guns. And this is a Marlin, which is kind of more in the budget category, according to most most people. And to me, I like them both. Uh, go over. I'm not going to do a full review on both these guns because this video will be too long. But just a quick overview: the Henry. These tend to be in the 800 to 1,000 dollar range uh, for for the most of them. Sometimes as low as 700 for what I'm seeing. This is a beautiful example. This is color case hardened compared to just the standard black finish. Um, it's got deep, rich wood on the on the furniture. The fit and finish is just almost perfect on these. Great gun. This is a heavy octagonal barrel. Um, just really nice gun. But again, it's, it's closer to the $800 range. So for the budget people out there, this is a Marlin 336. This is more in the $350 to $500 category, depending on where you can purchase it. And the features are all almost identical. Barrel length the same. These two have to be the same caliber. They both have what's called buckhorn sights. Um, differences between the two. So the Marlin, in my opinion, is actually a little easier to load. It is a side gate load. Whereas this particular Henry, while they're available in side gate, this is a tube fed. So you have to load in the ammunition on the tube and then there's a plunger rod that comes out. So these can be a little more finicky. Um, but bottom line, we're going to take these out to the range and shoot them with the same person shooting them to see is an $800 gun that much better than a $400 gun. So why don't we go ahead and... Dude, again, I'm filming. Oh, Can calm do down. All the time? Well, you making one of your videos again? Okay. Good for you. Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing with my Marlin? Man... Every time I turn around, you got one of my guns you're using one of your videos for. What, what's up with that? What do you got here? You get another one of them pretty guns, did you? Why are you so hung up on expensive okay, guns? So why can't we disagree and disagree? I'll spend my money on the guns that I want to purchase. Wait, you spend your money on the wait, guns that spend you want to purchase. Spend your money on what you want. We'll, we'll spend have my... fun and, and have whatever our you lives. Realize, you realize this is all special effects, right? Like, there's nobody out there. Like, this yes. is just like... Oh, I burned the bird. Oh, just kidding. Look, it's just special effects. <laughs> Come on, dude. Seriously? Wait a minute. Does that mean I've got regenerative powers like them superheroes? I guess. Like that guy in the red tights and okay. everything? Things just grow. Did I just, did I just break the fourth wall like he did too? That guy's awesome. He wears Crocs too. Oh, whatever, dude. I'm going to take my team. Dude, you said we'd go shooting today. This is YouTube. Let's We're go shooting. Come on. This isn't the movies. 
we're gonna go shoot. So we're gonna take a couple different types of ammo. We're doing Remington Core Locked 150 grain, and then I got a box of this Winchester 170 grain. Yeah, I know they're not the same grain, but we're just gonna see how they work. We'll shoot a little bit out of each gun and just see the results. All right, guys, let's go. back from the range hope you enjoyed that footage so I did bring that target back and as you saw in the close-ups so on this side of the target this was the Marlin with the core locked and then the Winchester down here same thing Henry the core locked up here and then the Winchester down here overall you know I'd say groups are fairly close now the Henry needed a little bit of windage adjustment but since it's not my gun I didn't do it but, you know, you take your own conclusions for what you saw, but really, firing-wise and shooting-wise, I know it's a quick uh, sample, but I didn't see much difference between an $800 gun and a $400 gun. So that's a good choice you guys gonna have to make. So, as always, if you like videos like this, hit that like button, smash the bell for notifications, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Hopefully we'll see you on future videos. Alright guys, shoot safe!